Should more Cayman businesses be allowed to sell liquor on Sunday? It depends on who you ask. I'm Cayman Compass editorial writer Jennifer Hemmingson here with Weekend Mail Call. We're all aware of the controversy surrounding the Liquor Licensing Board's decision to grant, then deny, a Sunday license for Peanuts Convenience Store in Red Bay. After months of confusion, Peanuts finally did receive the license. Now the question is whether or not the board will renew it, allowing Peanuts and other companies to sell liquor on Sunday going forward. Some people are worried about what might happen if Cayman allows more businesses to sell alcohol on our traditional day of rest. Recently, we published the opinions of two letter writers with opposing views. The Reverend M. Alson Ebanks, senior pastor at Church of God Chapel, wrote that when making policy, government must consider underlying values. He wrote, Reflecting on the ongoing drama of Peanuts and the Liquor Licensing Board and the growing list of cast members, it is clear to me that the values driving public policy and merchants' aspirations are too similar to provide any protection of public interests. Clearly, it does not matter that the results of mixing gasoline and alcohol, so to speak, create a deadly cocktail, as our road death records remind us. Nor does it seem to matter that there is no dearth of retail outlets for the sale of liquor in our little island, nor, sadly, that the one day that Caymanians traditionally held some level of respect for, and therefore exercised some restraint in the matter of dispensing liquor to the public, is now being treated like any other day. I suppose that policies and decisions are made by those in authority on the basis of what is fair. But fair to whom? Is it just the merchants that must be considered, so that if Coconuts has a license to sell liquor, then to be fair, one cannot deny peanuts? What about the rest of us? He asked that legislators review and reappraise the values that underlie the laws, and therefore shape the decisions that bodies like the Liquor Licensing Board are constrained to make. There are values far greater than the financial gain that must inform the decision of public serving bodies, he wrote, from the legislature down to statutory boards, if the true interests of all persons are to be served. Letter writer Velma Herod disagreed. She wrote that Cayman's ministers should not involve themselves in such worldly matters. She writes, with all the other things happening on this island, why do they want to focus on the matter of what people do on Sundays? Surely their energies would be better expended on what some people are doing the rest of the week. She writes, I have sat in many congregations and I have yet to see or hear the gospel of Jesus Christ manifested among participants. Everyone has their idea of serving God. The first thing the high priest said is that you must be born again and then seek the kingdom of heaven. But what I see is people joining church, what I call day clubs, when the Bible says we have to join Christ. Thanks for watching Weekend Mail Call. Tell us what you think. And don't forget to pick up your daily paper, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and spend time with us online at caymancompass.com.